Here at the Cryptic Files, we don't aim to prove or disprove anything. Simply show the evidence for you to decide. So with that said, let's get started. File 1 On this particular investigation, they find themselves in Ireland, where they're investigating a former convent, where it is believed that exorcisms took place. But I'm not going to say where it is, but we're in Ireland somewhere, and basically exorcisms used to take place in here. And the reason this, this place closed down this is the claims. It's closed down because the exorcism was going wrong and the community basically didn't want any of this stuff going on anymore. The guys explore the lower parts of the building, but other than some interesting corridors, there's really not much else to see. So the guys head upstairs. As the guys continue to explore the building, they find the chapel. Yeah. <clears throat> so maybe this is the room where all the exorcisms took place. As the guys continue to explore the chapel, Shit. there is what sounds like other voices in the room. Now, bearing in mind it's three young lads in the north of England, it sounds like a female voice in the background. Just before the pigeon hits the window, there's a voice that isn't one of the team. Listen closely. And there is a second occasion where the voice sounds like it's saying, Help me. <laughs> We can hear car noises in the background, but they sound different to whatever that was. It's quite horrifying about that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? As the guys head towards the door in through which they originally came into the chapel, something happens as they capture it on camera. Yo, the door just moved, bro. No, I got it, mate. I got it. Here it is again with the brightness enhanced. Yo, the door just moved, bro. And slowed down. Yo, the door just moved, bro. No, I got it, mate. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The door just moved on its own. However, what the team don't seem to notice is that there's something moving behind the door. There's a small grey square that seems to move. Now the guys are of course moving around with right lights, so you could possibly argue that it's a reflection coming from behind the door. Except that it does move, but not in the same way that the lights are moving. Look how bright the shadows are that the light creates. The movement of the shadows is different to whatever that is behind the door. Unfortunately, the footage cuts at that point, and the guys continue to investigate the upstairs of the building. before spotting something rather unnerving outside. Oh. The gap of the wall. Oh, the police. The guard. and rather sensibly decide it's time to leave. So 
So what did Dark Arts Paranormal capture on camera and on audio? Is it proof the building is actually haunted? Or is there another explanation for it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. You can also find a link to Dark Arts Paranormal's YouTube page where you can see all the investigations, including the full version of this investigation of the Irish convent. File 2. I'm currently based out of Reno, Nevada. The group has over 20 years of experience in investigating the paranormal, with investigations in nearly every state of the United States. In this particular investigation, the haunted side are investigating the Crystal Bay Motel in North Lake Tahoe. Both the guests and staff have reported paranormal activity inside many of the rooms in the hotel, with one room in particular reportedly having a very dark presence within. During the investigation of the darker, sinister room, something happens which, at the time, the team aren't aware of. But only later do they discover. Stay? Watch. Is there something about that room we should know about? What? Mm. What was that? It sounded like it said the bed. Yeah, but did not you not in a hear nice that? Way. It goes the bed. Which that's where you are. Yeah. What the hell was that? Did it just sound like something punched the wall? Yeah. My arm. Whoa, dude, get over here right now. Feel this like heat wave right here. Yeah, it's hot in there. Dude, what the hell was that? I don't know. Here's where things get really strange. If you look at the pillow on the left side of the bed, you can see that weird circular thing. I don't remember seeing it in the moment, and if I did, I probably thought it was just some kind of decoration on the bedspread. But after reviewing the footage, I noticed that that was in a completely different spot, and it actually looks like it came flying off of a wall at me. Here's footage when we walked into that bathroom a little bit before that, and you can clearly see it behind me on the wall. Which that's where you are. Yeah. What the hell is that? So did the guys themselves move the strange ornament from the wall onto the bed? Or did something else do it? Was it indeed that strange bang? Was that some kind of transference? Moving the object from one place to another? Who knows? It seems unlikely that the team would have faked the event because they don't seem to be the kind who would. You can never be sure, of course. But do check out the rest of the investigation over on the Haunted Side's YouTube channel, along with all their other investigations, all well worth watching. File 3 Franco TV is an American urban explorer who visits various locations around the states. In this episode, he returns to an abandoned town he'd previously visited. Let's do this. The first really interesting thing he finds is, is an old crate creepier? that's open. Something really creepy that I think you guys might want to check out, so let's get into it. It's him. And then we have a leaky mouse. Little holster. I don't know what that is. The symbol itself looks like a version of the sign associated with the mythical Illuminati, the eye in the triangle. However, it can also be found in the American one dollar bill. It's fair to say that Frank is rather intrigued by this discovery. But that is just not right. I don't know what beautifulness... Even though it's still light, like there appears to be things happening. Is he sure he heard something run past the crate and the trees nearby? The forest here. As Frank continues to walk into the town, he appears to hear voices coming from somewhere nearby. Oh, this is getting creepy. And I'm already hearing voices from behind me, so... If you listen closely, you can hear something. Yes. 
there's sounds coming from behind the houses. Indeed, I've actually cut out and amplified the sounds. Have a listen, see what you can hear. <laughs> However, it's not just a case of hearing something. There's something oh, visible creepy. also in the yeah, scene. I'm already hearing voices from behind me, so... But did you see it? Look again. Watch closely the doorways behind Frank over his shoulder. There's sounds coming from behind the houses. I have no idea what just happened. If you look closely, there appears to be something appearing in one of the doorways. The Here I've enhanced and attempted to stabilize the video to see it a little clearer, so have a look. If you watch closely, there appears to be something there in the door. It's there for a few moments, as Frank pans the camera around. But in the brief moment that doorway is out of shot, it seems to vanish. Because as Frank brings the camera back, there's nothing there. So I'm still walking, but all these houses seem to be already locked. Let me turn off my light here. As Frank continues to explore deeper into the abandoned town, he gets one hell of a shock. Oh. There's somebody here. I'm hiding behind the bush area. I don't know if you can see me right now, but there's somebody right in front of me. I'm gonna show it to you guys. walking what my exit's literally that way he's down there Frank just to explore further but having been rather unnerved by the figure he decides that perhaps it's time to leave. So Frank contacts his friend to come and pick him up in the car. Hello? Hey. Hey. Yeah, hi. Listen, there's, there's, there's somebody here following me. Can you go, go, go to the spot? Go to the spot that I told you to. Just get there as soon as you can, because I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I'm halfway close there. I just have to pass another neighborhood, and then I should be there. But oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm, go I'm going right now. Hurry, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, okay, bye then. Okay, yeah, right here. Come on. Hey, go, 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 go. I don't know where this fruit cake is. Unfortunately, in order to get out of the town, they have to drive through the middle. I don't know. And there he is. pretty unnerved. Frank and his friend managed to escape the town. But what do you think? Was this all real? Was that man really drunk or on drugs? Or was it all a setup? Maybe a bit of a hoax? You decide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You can find a link to Frank's full YouTube video and other videos on his channel in the description below. If you've made it this far and liked what you've seen, please click like and subscribe. Also hit the little bell icon because for some strange reason, if you don't hit that, you don't get the videos, even if you're subscribed. That's a strange one. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.